Hi, this is Mike speaking and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create multi-view applications. Uh, our application is going to contain two view controllers and when we press a button in the, the first view controller, the second view controller is going to pop up and uh, the same with the second view. This time we're going to select a new project and we're going to select a window based application this time. In a window based application uh, Xcode doesn't create uh, a basic view controller for us. We're going to create this one ourselves programmatically. So we have a single class, a tutorial free app delegate and the main window, the container for other view controllers. So we're going to start off by uh, creating new files for our classes. We're going to press Command N or pressing File, New File, and we're going to select a UIV controller subclass. We're going to select the with zip for user interface and press Next. And we're going to name first one First View Controller. And make sure that this is also selected, the also create first view controller dot h and press finish. And Xcode created two uh, fr um, free files for us, uh, an h, m and a zip file. As we see, this is the same class file that, we, we've, that we've been dealing with in the last two tutorials. And we're going to create another one, and the same as the first one, and we're going to name this second view controller and finish and I'm going to move the zip files into resources you don't need to do this I just want to group the classes files and the user interface files so now we're going to write some code the first thing we want to do uh, is when the application starts we want to insert the first view controller inside the applications window so we select the tutorial free app delegate age class file and we're going to declare a new class. This class is going to be the first view controller and we need to declare the first view controller inside here. First view and we want to add a property issue in here, non-atomic. First view controller, first, whoops, not that first view. Now we need to synthesize it inside here, first view, and we need to add the h header files inside the m file, first view controller dot h. So now as we can see we have uh, Two functions over here. The application did finish launching and a dialog. Uh, we're going to focus on this one because we want to add our view controller when the application runs. So we need to add the application did finish launching uh, function. So now what we're going to do is first view controller. We're going to declare a new class and we want to specify. I'm going to explain what I'm doing. First view controller a lock in it with nib name first view controller bundle nil. So first view equals a view window and sub view first view view. A view release. First view release. So what I did just here, the first thing, uh, I declared uh, the first view controller class inside the new variable, and in the variable, uh, I told that the nib file of the first view controller is the first view controller. Note that I didn't. Uh, add the zip extension inside this name and then I told that the first view is going to be the class I declared over here 
and I added the first the view of the first view controller class inside the window and I released the first the A view which I declared over here I unlocked it so I need to release it and then I released uh, what I unlocked inside the H file so now we're going to write some code inside the first view controller and the second view when we press a button uh, we want some action to occur so we're going to add this ib action swap views id center and we're going to add this inside the m file ib action swap views id center and the same thing we're going to do inside the second view controller IB action swap views ID center IB action swap views ID center whoops I think I don't need to explain what I just did here I explained this in the last tutorial so if you don't understand this uh, you can watch other my other tutorials explaining what I did what I just did so I'm going to check if everything's working I'm going to build everything and build succeeded so everything is working just fine now uh, what we're going to do is write a new function inside the app delegate class and we're going to point uh, the actions of uh, the first view controller and the second view controller to the function we just we're going to declare inside the app delegate class and I'm going to show you how to create new functions inside Xcode switch view oops view UI. View. view two. So, this is how uh, an Objective C function looks like. In the first, the first thing we need to tell Xcode what uh, type of memory it's going to need to unlock uh, inside inside the return type. Well, uh, we need to specify what uh, what we're going to return inside the function. If we're going to return an NS integer, we'll write NS integer here. If we're, if we're going to uh, 